Hi guys, Paul here from VA Brew News. Been off uh, re reviewing for a little bit. Had a little bit of a cold, so I figured I'd just give it time. Uh, lost my SD D card and stuff, so some, some of my reviews have been completely lost, which sucks. But uh, I got a new SD card. We're gonna give it a give it a try with this. Wake the Dead by Left Hand Brewing Company. It's their Imperial Stout. Comes in at 10.2% alcohol by volume. I enjoy it 55 to 60. It's got to be a little bit warmer than that in here. For a basement, it's not exactly the coolest place in the world. Um, Seller up to seven years. This can be cellar, so that's awesome. Lefthandbrewing.com. Brewed on the banks of the mighty St. Moraine. Here we go. Let's see. Vintage 12, 3, 12, 3, 12. No. 2000, I, think, I guess it's a 2012 bottle, so it should almost have a year on it already. But I don't, can't exactly see the date very well. So here we go. Just pour it into this so we can get a good waft of it. Okay. Let's give it a look see. You can see through this. It is not. It, it looks kind of black, but you can definitely see through this. Very ruby colored. If you put the light up to it. Ooh, nice. Mm. I'm even getting a bit of dark fruit in there, mixed with a nice licorice, chocolate, coffee kind of a thing going on. It's got a little bit of a waft of a booze waft too. Hmm. Maybe even a little smokiness in that one. Definitely got some of that nice star anise kind of a character coming out, mixing with that rich kind of chocolate. Hmm. It's twingy. I like that little earth twinge to it. Let's give it a go. Cheers. Burn, burn. It's got a really wrapping mouthfeel though. I mean, it feels kind of thin, but the character just stays and stays and stays. Wow. Mm. It's really burning. Real has a lot of feel from the alcohol. Um, there's a luscious kind of chocolate, almost mocha kind of quality going on. Definitely hits of vanilla in there. That star anise kind of working its way down. It has a slight hot character to it, of an earth tone hot character. The bitterness that's there, I can't tell if it's bitterness or that alcohol kind of invigorating feel that it has in it, but it's definitely interesting. Definitely got some legs on it. To me, this is the proper temperature to drink this at. It's around 65. That's pretty damn good. Well, that's pretty damn good. It almost, it feels watery. That's the weirdest thing. It feels watery, but then this, this overwhelming character, it just hangs on and just keeps on kicking your shit in. That's pretty damn cool. Let me check the time with the new SD card. All right, we're still rocking and rolling. Left Hand Brewing Company. Um, I haven't had a lot of their ales yet. I know that they do make a large variety, but they uh, they make some pretty good ales from what I can tell. <coughs> Excuse me, from what I've had. Let's see what we can get if we just give it a big old pour. 
this part of it's like a, a darker mocha, and then it's like a more of a light head here. But I haven't seen that before. You're even kind of burping back, like sweet mocha. Um, I don't think. I don't know if this one should be aged because you can, but that doesn't mean you should. Um, because this is pretty well made right here. I mean, it's kind of boozy to a certain extent, but it's not really killing the experience. I don't know if the booziness would tone down or kick up with age. Wait a second, let's see what this says. Wake the dead lurks in, around in our cellars for over four months before being unleashed. Hints of raisins, that's that dark, that dark fruit. Black licorice, coffee, and dark chocolate are followed by earthy herbal hop notes. Any let's say, apprehensions about the rest of your day are quickly forgotten for whatever the mind expects finds it. Well, I'm I'm very happy that I, I gave you the correct tasting notes. I mean, earthy tones, dark fruits. Oh, this is really good. This is really good, especially because I could pull that out. That's telling me that they're bold and ripe and well made. It is boozy though. It is don't fuck around with me, boozy. Let's see. Yeah, it's still got that kind of um, opaque uh, ruby color to it, so it's not really getting any darker. I'll tell you what, this is a big boy. Don't fuck around with it. If you want something not boozy, don't get this. This is pretty damn boozy for what it is. Um, all that being said, I'm still going to give it, I'm going to give this one, uh, I want to I give it a higher grade, but it is pretty damn boozy. Uh, so I'm going to give this one, let me give it a 9.5. I, I don't want, want to give it a 10, it's a little bit harsh in the booziness, but other than that, it's very well made. It could, it could, well, let me give it a 9. But this is a very well-rounded, very well-made beer. Um, it is extremely boozy, though, on that kind of scale. So, um, I'm going to have to knock it down just a touch for that. And even though the residual flavors are really bold and really big, they do last, it still could use a bit of a touched-up mouthfeel. So, on all in all, though, um, I'm going to give the Wake Up Dead from Left Hand Brewing Company um, Long Mount, Colorado, <coughs> excuse me, I'm still going to give this one a big nine. Definitely get this, check it out, it's really good. Um, the characters are well made, big bold, just be prepared, be prepared for a little bit of a booziness. Uh, Imperial Stout, you kind of expect it a little bit, but this is pretty damn boozy, and uh, it is lacking a little bit in um, the overall mouthfeel. But this has been Paul from Pia Brew News, cheers.